Hey you guys, today is going to be a tutorial on this look here. Um, there's actually an alternative on the lip gloss in case you don't prefer this orange color. Um, you can always do nudes since you are going very bold with the eyes. So if you're interested in this tutorial, definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is the look we're going for. So to start off, choose a eyelid primer of your choice and I'll be using the brand e.l.f. Go ahead and apply this to your lower lid and blend it in. Now I'll be taking my 24 hour Maybelline color tattoo and this is in the color of Tenacious Teal. Such a pretty color. And I'm going to actually be applying this using my fingers. And I'm going to apply that to the lid portion of my eye. And you can also put this right in the crevice of your tear duct. And I'm just patting that on lightly. Now I'll be taking my Revlon Matte in the number 009, and this is called Rich Sable. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush as well. And I'm actually going to be applying this right into the crease. That way this will give me definition for my eyes. And I'm just going to blend that back and forth. Now I'll be using the Revlon Satin, and this is in the number 020, and this is called Nude Slip. I'm actually using this as my transition color into my um, highlight for my eyebrow. So I'm just placing that right along the edge of the Rich Sable and blending that. And this transition color will allow you to get rid of any harsh lines as well. Okay, and at this point I thought I was organized and had everything in order. And now I'm just trying to find my highlight, which is somewhere. Just bear with me, you guys. <laughs> and it's right in front of me. <laughs> So this is actually the Revlon Matte, and this is number 001, this is called Vintage Lace. I'm going to use this as my highlight and place it right underneath my eyebrow. And blending that out as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to do this eyebrow here. Oh, I'm actually going to go back and apply the um, color tattoo because after blending and everything, the color sort of faded away. So I want this color to be nice and vibrant. So I'm just applying just a little bit more to the lid. Okay, like so. And now I'm just going to touch up on my eyebrow and I'm basically when I do my eyebrows I just use a light brown which is a natural color for my eyebrows and just follow the outline of my eyebrow and then I'm gonna blend it in so it gives it a nice natural look. Now I'll be using my NYC pencil um, to line both my top and lower and this is in the shade 921A black. I would actually prefer you guys use to use a liquid eyeliner but unfortunately I ran out of my liquid eyeliner so I do need to buy another one. 
So just for this tutorial, I'll be using the pencil. And I'm just going to line both the top and bottom. And now I'll be taking my ooh, <laughs> my newly favorite um, mascara, and this is the Alme Triple Effect. I'm just going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. And this is number 01 Blackest Black New York Intense. Absolutely love this mascara. Sorry, I'm all in the camera, you guys. <laughs> Trying to apply this mascara. And I'm just going to take a Q-tip, and this is where I'll just be cleaning up any of the residue that had fallen while I was blending. And just um, clean up my liner on the bottom lid of my eye. I'm just going to go back with the pencil. See, this is exactly why I prefer the liquid. Especially for your top lash line. Okay, so that is the look. Now I'll be using my Sheer Cover Dual Concealer. And I'm going to be using the tan color, placing this right underneath the eye. This is going to be my highlight. This will actually um, give me a nice awakened look for this. So I'm just blending that using my finger. I'm placing just a little bit more. We're just going to let that sit for a little bit after I blend it. And now I'll be using my Youthful Wear Physician's Formula Translucent Illuminating Finish Powder. And this basically is going to be the powder to set the concealer in place. You can see I have a nice awakened look. Now I'll be using, I already actually have this on my lips now, but this is the Soft Lips Beeswax Lip Conditioner. And if you want to go for more of a neutral look, you, I am using the Revlon Color Burst in number 024, and it's called Gold Dust. So this is one alternative. Um, if you just want your eyes to make the statement itself, you can just pair it with a nude lip or lip gloss or lipstick that you prefer of your choice. So you have this look here. Very appealing. Okay, and now the second option would be to add a little color to your lips. For this one, I'll be using the Revlon Lip Butter. And this is in the color 015 and it's called Tutti Fruity. Okay, I'm just going to place this. And this is more of a coral and orange color. So if you wanted more of a little bit of some more color to your look, this is a go to color as well. Okay, you guys, so that completes the look. And you guys are all set. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.